hey, what is going on? All right, so cat is kind of sleeping right now, looking at me. I think I have the other one downstairs, numbly. I'm um, doing numblies, nibblies, nibblies. There we go. I went to a few places yesterday, um, and look, because there is, as I've said before, somebody who likes um, imitating my character um, and my personality and stuff like that in a very, very creepy way. I just wanted to put this out there. Obviously, it's 7.05 right now. I bought these all yesterday. Like, um, hold on, let's see. Look at this. Six, can you see this? Six, 17, 23, today's 18. Wow, time is going by quickly. So, um, yeah. So I went to like the local mall. So yeah, Bath and Body Works, and you can see it says 6, 17, 23. Part of my nails. <laughs> um, cause they get, they got weak, cause um, the women kept using powder. I hate going to the nail salon, and I be like, yo, like I don't want to do the machine, the drill, because unfortunately it makes my nails like really, really thin. And I have a concern about it, you know, obviously breaking because I've had, I'm, I've had a lot of like um, full paws where like it would bend, my nails would actually bend or it would split easier. I didn't like that. And they keep saying, oh, powder and um, or gel and it would still use the net on um, like a drill bit and it would just really mess up my nails. It would be hard every single time. So that's what I'm, at. that's what I'm suffering with now. And so I have a machine to do it myself, but I wanted to just get a manicure at least. And so they did that for me though. It's, it's still a plus. Anyway, so this is just part of my nails. Part of my nails. I'm still in search of a good um, nail salon. But these are the only ones that are like open really late. Because for some reason, um, I just find myself like being outside or ready to get my nails done around like maybe five or six. And that's when. That's when they're not like accept respectfully. There's that's when they're like not respecting any new clients or anybody like any new customers or anything like that. They're like, no, we're like we're closing soon, stuff like that. And I'm like, you know what? I respect that. So I just <laughs> take my little butt to, to know. Oh, my goodness. Normally they they are actually really good. They really are good. So I don't know. I, I think this one is the um is a fluke though. But I think I'm gonna just wait a while. So the whole. This is what I, I came here for. Hold on. Mama is not. Mama is hungry and she's only having that right now. After the video, she will be having food. So um, that's um, garden spritz. Ooh, I'm not. Um, so I went to Bath and Body Works yesterday. And they had a sale for things that were like $3.95. I don't know if the sale is still on. I apologize. I should have told you this before. Um, if you can go on the website and find something, then, you know, good luck to you. I wish you luck on that one. But, um, yeah. So, oh, my gosh. There was still something in my eye. Yeah, Lord, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Let me get one of things in my eye because... Uh, Stuff over there. It's normally like cat hairs. I hate that. Okay. I showed you the receipt. I know I showed you the receipt. So why can't I find the receipt? You know what? It's slowing me down. It's slowing me down. It's slowing me down. Okay. So. Oh yeah, so I got like something called Waikiki Beach and it smells like coconut. It's so nice. Pardon me for rushing, but I feel like, you know, I just wanted to tell you something like, just pretend like it's me on the phone with you or like on FaceTime. Um, if you if you have um, Google, I haven't had Android in a long time. It's the FaceTime equivalent. Just so just pretend like that. Pretend I'm for a video chatting right now and I'm about to go um, get me something to eat. And I'm just like, oh, hey, what's going on? <laughs> um, no, it won't be like, it won't be crazy like that. It would be really genuine. Um, just wanted to let you know that uh, Beth and Body Works has a sale going on. I really hope that it is today. My apologies for not telling you yesterday. But um, I think it's for the week. So it goes into the weekend. So, girl. Oh, boy and 
Wolves. It's uh, 7 to 12 right now. I know it's Father's Day, but, you know, maybe, you know, maybe Daddy might want, some, you know, something that's nice and, um, you know, lustrous for his skin. They have some, they have, like, a really nice selection of guy stuff, too, so that'd be nice. And if you don't know what kind of scent to give him for, like, you know, body stuff or, um, why don't you try the room ones or a candle? Where it knows, guys, the candles for them, for them rooms. And you would best be off, like, um, you would best, your best bet would be getting something that you would like, obviously, because, you know, especially if you, you are, like, you know, the one and only. I'm like, oh, I really like this one. Like, this would be really nice. It would make, you know, it seems very comforting. Like that. And it's, I think this one is, like, really nice. What do you think? It kind of puts me in. Chewing, please. Like, you Okay. Um. So I got this sun golden sunflower. I should have worn my sunflower shirt in this video. Oh, I was thinking of it. But golden sunflower. I got this for three ninety five. It is originally sixteen ninety five. <laughs> but I got it for three ninety five. Oh my god. Um, a lot of this, like, a lot of this stuff is very cheap. Three ninety. dollars I mean, that's what I'm more to say. Uh, the sale, a lot of this stuff is very affordable. Because it's $16.95, and I gotta say, like, the, the moisture is nice. The fragrance does last for a long time. So you're getting, you are getting, you know, your bang for, for your buck. It's not, and the smell is nice. So I can understand if this was, like, you know, some cheapy toilette, and I, and they were like, oh, $16.95. And we were like, what? No. This stuff is like, they have a, an array, a variety of different type of, like, suitable scents for every occasion. From fancy to casual to beach to grocery store, things like that. And I think this one right here is for a general everyday kind of, um, kind of flair. But the thing about these is just that I wouldn't put it all over my, um, this is something where a little bit goes a long way. Like, I, I feel like I would have to have a regular lotion and use this one as a backup. Um, not as a backup, like, to, like, follow up because, I don't know, there's something where, I, like, I want to smell nice, though, but I don't want it to be too power, too powerful. And I feel like this is powerful for a long time. Like, yeah, like, I can still smell it, like, faintly. Um, but it's, yeah. It's good, though. This is an investment. I mean, I feel like an investment investment, like, oh, you're this if you wear this to an interview, you will get hired. But like <laughs> this, like, it's it's nice. It seems like this would last. If you use a, just a general um hold on. Because some um, lotion was like <laughs> it's kind of weird. Some lotion was like kinda of hanging from this um uh, so I'm using some Vaseline the intensive care cocoa radiant. Uh, 48 moisture hydration which is really nice and if I just use this and then put just like a dollop not even like a glump but like a small I'd say about two pea size a pea size for your hand however big your hand is maybe two if needed but and then go up from there when it comes to like your body or something like that but yeah you don't want it to be too powerful I would definitely say just like a pea size for your hand <clears throat> So I got golden sunflower and I love the adorable colors. Like the packaging is very pretty, super pretty. It gives it gives um the 60s vibes. And I always love those Scooby-Doo kind of vehicles. Those are so nice. I always wanted to do that by like a beach and then have like a little cookout or something like that with the hot dogs and stuff like that. Uh, uh white tea and ginger sounds nice. In fact, actually I'm gonna smell in front of you right now. I smelled it at the store, but this is one is really beautiful because I feel this is something I can wear to work in the middle of the day. If I'm like, you know, coming from the lavatory or just my hands are dry, period. Uh, I will have one of those. I have, a, I have a small one. I have a travel size general lotion and I will have this. Actually, this seems so lightweight. I haven't tried it out yet on my hands. The only one I've tried out is the golden sunflower. But if I tried this, this seems to be, so this seems to be in the bottle it seems to be like it would be suitable to have like three to four drops to like you know just like moisturize my hands 
it seems lightweight. Like the scent is that lightweight. However, however, because it's my first time trying it, I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the base for the general Vaseline lotion and then do this. And I think actually the Vaseline one is actually a smart idea because Vaseline really like contains like you have your lubri um like you have your your lubricants, but the Vaseline in itself kind of like definitely distills it. So if I put in the lotion and then I put in that, pardon me, and then I put in that, and it kind of just like still massages, uh, everything is still warm and still um, <clears throat> not a solid really. So by doing that, it's going to help like eventually seal in the scent. Do you feel me? Like once everything gets, you know, um, once everything gets cool. So I apologize because like cat hair is a mother. Um, this is called Pure Wonder, and it smells super fancy. Unfortunately, I can't open it at the... This is my house. Why can't I open it? Oh, my God. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't open it. Oh, my goodness. Uh, darling. I can't open it. I will open it. Um, I don't want to. It's just that it smells really pretty. In fact, I can't really prove it to you guys. Like, oh, yeah, so... Now that I've opened it, I can prove to you that it smells really nice. No, I've smelled what it smells like at the store, and it smells really nice. Um, I don't want to open it right now, so I'm not going to. Because I'm like, yeah, I can't open it because there's a seal. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm home. <laughs> uh, this one right here is cotton candy, and I think this is so pretty and cute. This is so fun. It's light. And it's um this is a shower gel. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, I don't have on absolute I have absolutely no makeup on right now. Uh-huh. 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 I see. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, so I have the air conditioner going on right now. And these little Wiley mixes were um like of course um just scratching and whatnot like that so a lot of the hair and stuff is just like oh, I hate that um god I mean god love them I love them they're like yeah nice days uh, <laughs> all right so this has um sponge sugar pink berries and whipped vanilla oh this sounds so nice and it, it definitely smells really pretty if I was going to go somewhere back in the day when I had more of a casual life um I had a casual lifestyle and I was going more outgoing. I think I will go back outside. It's just like more outside. It's just obviously you know what my situation is considering um, the harassment and abuse that I've been getting and weird freaking exes. If you've ever seen the movie Fear with Mark Wahlberg and um, it's a pretty little girl with the blonde hair. I mean, I'm pretty little girl. she's a woman now. Um, Reese Witherspoon. Um, then you'd understand exactly like what it is that I'm kind of experiencing right now. And it's just ridiculous. I should not have to do this. I should not have to go through this. Oh my goodness, why? Okay. Um, so yes, this is, oh my goodness. It's delicious, I love it. Oh my goodness, yes. Um, okay, hold on. Let's do a little interlude. Uh, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, back. Sorry, I'm so sorry. It's just that, oh my God, I cannot stand. I don't know why. If the cats and animals won't bother you or interrupt you, then their hairs will. And it's ice cream and this your friends. So I have cotton candy um, body wash, which smells so nice. And the thing about that is just that I have Waikiki Beach on me right now, and um, I can still smell her. So if I went to bed and I wanted it to cuddle up with, my cat, because that's all, literally I've been celibate for so long. So um, I'm just saying, like I can go, I can go to bed, and I can literally still smell it. Pardon me. Um, and that was like what 
it was a few hours ago. It was a couple hours ago. A couple hours ago. But yeah, like I I like that. So yeah, we can just go to bed. Um by we, I mean obviously just be my bed. But I'm look, I'm I'm not one of those like, oh, I need to Wow, this is a whole other conversation. <laughs> it was like this is a whole other fucking conversation. Um so yeah, basically like, you know, I, I go to sleep and I will still smell this and it just smells delicious. Like hello, goodbye. I love it. I love it. Um so I mix this, so I mean so I'll pair this with this. And this is the whipped coconut milkshake. Actually, no, I wouldn't. I probably would just put on a plain Jane. Things like when it comes to the this, if I ever bathe, bathe. Whenever I wash up with the body washes, I want to just have a plain Jane. Um, I want to just have a plain Jane lotion and moisturizer because I want that to just kind of like, I want to get the bang. I want to get the most out of my, my money. So naturally I'm going to just have like each smell do its own thing. Like it doesn't need an MC, okay? It just needs to just smell as it is. I might have like a, um, if I'm going out somewhere, then I might do like a, a hint of complimentary perfume. Like I don't want to mix perfumes where one where I have like a fruity body wash and some type of like woodsy like perfume that doesn't sound really nice. So yeah, I would want to have like a complimentary. Um, I would want to have a complimentary scent. Obviously, naturally, ladies. I think we all know this, but just in case if anybody doesn't, then I think that's um uh, that's something you know to just kind of like pass on the information. Like, hey, girl, what's going on? <laughs> all right. So um yeah, I um friend of mine. I I'm saying you guys are my friend, friend of mine. Hopefully, like you know people who are watching me right now. Oh, wow, I'm. People who I'm addressing are my supporters. You feel me? The people not the creepy kind, not the weird kind, but like the real supporters. Okay, so what's going on? Um, this is a whipped coconut milkshake, which is really nice. Um, sounding, it smells nice at the store. It smells nice now. <laughs> I don't want to put this on my hands because again, I have the sunflower on right now, and this smells so freaking good and light. I think I'm definitely. I would. I would pair this with. Oh my goodness, what is, what are those called? No. Oh, wait, hold on, yeah. Okay, so I like this. What is the, or OGX, the rose water. This would be really pretty. Like they have a coffee one. I would pair this with this, with the milkshake. Like that would be nice. That would be actually something really nice. And I would probably would like leave it at that if I'm gonna have that as my like as my sense because normally I do the OGX with OGX coffee one with uh, Kalani. I forgot what it's called, but the Kalani one, which is really nice, smoky, and a bakery good kind of scent, and I, I really like that too. So it just it combines like um, when you mix it. So that is what I have from. That is what I have from Bath and Body Works. Oh, wait, no, I don't. There's one more. Groovy watermelon. Yo, if this is so cute. Just like um, its little sister, the golden sunflower. I would not pair these two together because they have a, obviously a different um, scent to them, but I really adore the packaging. I mean, come on now. Hello and goodbye. It's so cute. I It really smells like watermelon. Like candy watermelon it smells like a jolly rancher watermelon and i really like that that's so that's so precious it's, it's throwback again this is perfect for the summer if you're going to the park somewhere and just casual shucks even if you go into like um anywhere like super laid back low key to uh, run groceries uh, run groceries <laughs> run errands like to the grocery store or anywhere that's outside um generally speaking you know during the summer. I think it's really cute. Except for like, of course, like uh, for something that's more casual, definitely laid back. I wouldn't wear, I wouldn't wear that's work. Definitely wouldn't wear that's work. But I definitely, but it's definitely a weekend, a day off um, to the beach or a park, click out kind of thing. 
And then you have some fruity scents. Speaking of fruity scents, I got some, um, I, bought, I went to Sephora and I got me these babies. Oh my gosh, look, 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 thanks. Nice. I love travel kits because it allows me to, um, I love like these little travel discovery kits. <clears throat> sample kits it allows me to obviously it allows me to try try each and every um line out and so i think this is adorable the fact that it's a, a notebook but it's i don't know this doesn't seem, seem really oh okay so it's a scent diary got it it's a scent diary so that's why they have it as a notebook oh, okay i see where you got that from all right got it this is like that doesn't seem very okay but i see where they're going with it it's themey and peace perfume discovery set i like this because it has pear and i was looking for about a couple years now for a perfume that has pear in it and this has pear and i think i smelled this at the sephora store and it smells really good i smelled a few different scents and i was just like i have to take this i have to take this i have um also juliet has a gun i've had her other um i've had her other line but Lipstick Fever seems like, you know, one of my favorite right now. Like, this definitely seems summer. <laughs> Laugh with me. A date. Ha, 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 ha. Once I find somebody that's actually, you know, trustworthy. <laughs> so, um, but, I mean, even if um, I don't, like, I'm still wear that bitch. Um, like, even if I, like, go, like, on a date with myself, like, by myself. So, I don't know. Something that I do. Something that I do. All right. Um, also telling you again that I have on absolutely no makeup. I mean, I do have something like on my brows, but everywhere else, I don't have any makeup. So if you be like, oh my gosh, she looks tired no, or something like that, save it. Okay. Reverse it. Throw it back to you. All right. Stop being a hater. All right. I'm beautiful. Okay. I have on a makeup. Deal with it. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> All right. So I also went to Ulta. What else? Did I get anything else from Sephora? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I really adore this makeup look that I've done, which is with the rose. Ah, I know. I'm adorable. Isn't she? Uh, I, you can find it on my Instagram. So I can't locate my lipstick, the one I had used. So I went to Sephora and I got um, 02. And it is called... No, just satin lipstick. Wait, well, what's the name of it? Is it just a number? That was not me really singing. I was really being crazy. So um, let's just go ahead and do this. And go ahead. This is the first time for me and you. So I have, I didn't try it on at the store at all. You know what? Now that I that, now that I actually tried this one, I, I'm thinking that I, I probably got my my lipstick from Wet n Wild, and not, I'm not dissing Sephora when I said that this reminds me of Wet n Wild. I'm not, sweetheart. I'm just saying that you know this, this is giving me you know the Wet n Wild vibes. Okay, it's giving me the Wet n Wild vibes. I'm sorry. Oh, I love it. It's pretty. It's definitely pretty. Um, what did I get? How much did I pick for this? I got this because I got it, got it yesterday. Uh, whoa, hold up. Yeah. You should not tell me how I got this for $30. <laughs> what? Pourquoi? Liners is... Wait, no, it's 24-7-1, the lipstick, the lip liner is 13, the liner rose, the lip liner rose, the visco set, the liner, the lipstick, what? This is 30 mm. Okay, well, they got me. They got me because, honestly, I did not think that that was going to be um, hmm. interesting, especially since Minted does, like, you know, pink lipsticks well kind of pinkish lip lipstick and it was really hard for me to find minted um at the stores because Ulta in my area barely um 
barely keeps that brand around when it comes to like lip lipsticks. So excuse me, I'm just gonna see this. This is a lip liner, obviously a lip liner pencil. This should have been first. Like, please do not try to. <sighs> please do not try to get like the beauty um, tutorials for me right now because. <laughs> Uh, oh my god. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. Definitely think. It definitely is giving me pink. It You cannot miss that. I, I like this one. I have a purple uh, lip liner, but this one is more of a pinkish purple. And it is, if anybody's interested, it's called Wino. Yeah, I'm keeping her. <laughs> I like that. And this one is Rose. I, I like that. And I got these for babes. So I got this. I feel like I'm reading a scroll to you. Like, no. Damn. I got the Rose of Liner for $6. And then I got the Lip Liner um, Wino for $13, which isn't bad. I, I believe that that's not bad at all. And I got, oh, yeah, Frozen Finish um, from Ulta. From Ulta, I got this. That's not open. I got this NYX um, glass gloss. Because again, I'm just trying to recreate this really pretty pink lip. It was so pretty and matched my rose perfectly. In fact, if anything, I think I outdid the rose. I was like, what? It's gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. Ah oh, crap. Hands are moisturized. Just the bell of Thoraka bells you. Oh my god. All right. Fucking bell you within sun. All right, you know what? Frick it. I'm going to uh, use um, a lip oil and then just bam. Oh, oh. It doesn't still, it doesn't still exactly like get it, but it's not, it's not bad. It's not bad. Once I, once I do more of the, the lip stuff, it's not bad, but I think it's the closest that I can get at this time. I really, really love minted, um. Lipstick, particularly the uh, pink one, the pink brown one. And yeah, I'm gonna do my back. Um, from the Oh, Stila. 
Okay. So yeah, this is the wino one, which is really pretty. Really nice. We're gonna have some fun with that one. And this is Rose. Okay. Again, I don't normally do holes. But I'm not opposed to them. Okay, another thing. I got mini eyeliners. So you saw that I've been doing eyeliners normally um, lately with my eyes. So I got a, um, a few. I have two can do it. <laughs> so it's like a yellowish kind of color. I want to do um, an experiment with that. I have Ducky, which is, I imagine, a pink one. Which is an unusual um, name for pink. Yeah, this is pink. And I have, <laughs> sorry. Um, I also have this is, try me, which is the closest I can find to red right now. Everything else seems like um, cranberry or just anything that's not red. Um, but I want a red one. At, those that I got from Ulta. Because obviously Sephora doesn't sell ColourPop, but I mean, not obviously, but it's just like um, Ulta sells ColourPop. So and that's where I got that from. In fact, I had to go to Ulta because Sephora, um, pardon me, Sephora ran out of Too Faced um, blush and I had got, what was it? Watermelon Rain, which is similar to the one I have in that photo. And she is pretty. I had got lucky because it's the last one, and this is it right here. Isn't she gorgeous? Isn't she gorgeous? Not lovely, but gorgeous. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love that. Just imagine on my cheeks. I have Rare Beauty, um, two of Rare Beauties, but unfortunately, um, excuse me, I have Rare Beauty, two of Rare Beauties, but they do not, they do not in the bowl match the color that i'm going for it does not match the color that's on there the really pink one is like a bright electric pink definitely gives me flamingo this right here the one that i have in the photo is is just it just screams like a soft balance kind of rose and i really love that I, oh. and the other rare beauty one gives off a just a a general kind of blush. I also use the Sephora palette for my blushes. What else? What else? What else? Oh yes, this lengthening mascara. I saw this on TikTok, but it goes. And I was just like, I'm intrigued. I need to buy this because I do mascara and uh, I conveniently am in need of new mascara because the other one is um, is caking up and I don't like that. So right here as you can see these are my eyelashes bam bam they're like bumble wings okay they're very small but they do what they do what's necessary okay it's magic uh let's see bam, bam. it's this is brown though i want a black i guess it's like blonde friendly i don't Hmm. We're gonna do it in a video, like a more clear, um, and a more higher resolution video because this is on obviously on my um my laptop so Whew, okay that uh that champagne is uh getting okay but they're gonna do a whole nother video okay let's get it <laughs> sweet cheer the past i don't know i don't know um so else is next i also i got this because um i have the i wouldn't say actually 
I'm not sure if it's a hereditary thing because I don't recall my grandmother or my mother having this. They did have like sunken kind of eyes, but they didn't have like um, the dark circles. And because of so many things that's going on in my life, um, that is the, that is the cause for it. it. It could be worse. So I'm, I'm grateful for that, that it's not. Also, when I was younger, um, I I put hydroquinone on, uh, underneath my, uh, my eyes. So I'm pretty sure some of that is uh, like, it's like dare to stay, baby, regardless. I didn't know what I was doing. I was literally a kid and I had like, a, um, I was just getting, uh, I was just getting acne and I was just putting it on every everywhere. And I was just like, oh, let me just put it right here. I was like, I'm a child. I did the same thing with my, um, first time I got a hair, um, like my underarms were getting hairy. I started shaving everywhere. <laughs> um, from the neck down, I started shaving. Shaving everywhere. I started shaving my arms and my legs, and then I came out wolfy. I was like, oh my God. But, it's whatever. I got this. Actually, I'm not going to use this, because this is normally my go-to. This has medium to full coverage, and... It's really lightweight, obviously, because of the medium part with these. So the lady there, the young woman there, she recommended I get the e.l.f. 16-hour camo concealer. And I've heard good things about it. I've heard good things. It says full coverage matte. So that might just be my ticket to freedom. I'm hoping and praying that this is not going to look darker on my skin than Oh, that's a lot. Okay, so you just you really just need a little. Bam, 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 bam. <clears throat> Give me a beat. Oh crap. God. Oh, damn it. Okay, so I actually I got this. Um, this is a tone adjusting face primer, and I meant to do it um on my eyes, but I'm not sure if people actually use it around your eyes. Use it a small amount. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. Not today, unfortunately. But um, not today. I will do it on another day, and I will show you. Well, I'll put it like on, on my uh, on my site. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is my favorite boy. <laughs> Hi. You're shaking your little tail. That's so cute. You have to go bathroom? You just tired? <gasps> Lily, just the time, baby. Sebastian has to go out there. This is so cute. Look at my baby. You have this? Mm. You okay? You got something in your eye? You got hair in your eye? No, wait. Give me. Uh, hold on, hold on. Hi, mama. Please, please, the girl. Oh, baby. The girl. The girl. Mama. 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 Please, please, please. Girl, come here, Mimi. Come here. We love the tears, Mimi. I'm about to come up.
right, so this is like the best we can do right now. All right. It's better, right? It's a bit. Okay, good. There you go. All right. Uh, she's so difficult. I swear to me. It's so difficult. It's just like, uh. All right. Welcome to the land of the living. So, yeah. All right, Elf. I'm going to wear this. Okay. Oh, it's weird. Unbelievable. She's like messing with my bag. Oh, my clothes. All right. All right. So now that we've done the makeup, actually, so this, I'm going to have to show you guys another day, the blur, and I'd like to show you like what it looks like, but I got, bear with me, deep bronze. It's a blurring tint foundation. I want something that's gonna be lightweight. Um, I I was considering about this kind of like taking a like a little smidgen of this and just rolling it around my face because it's gonna be some time. And something like a BB cream or along the lines like that would be ideal for me because I don't wanna keep wearing I don't wanna wear like you know heavy foundation, especially not in the summertime. Not that um heavy foundation, it please do not try to be an incel and try to like congratulate me like, oh we should need like, oh, makeup, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, <sighs> makeup is wonderful. Makeup is fun. Makeup is nice. I I like makeup. It's just that I don't want to wear a lot of it because it can, um, my skin can get from normal to oily. So it's just not a good look for me. And in the heat, no, I sweat too easily. It's just not a good look for me. So. Hey, so uh, this is really nice. This is a win. I elf. You did good. You did good. Amazing. Okay, so now we're gonna get into the clothes. Yes. Well, actually, elf. I really like your camo concealer. The the mascara one. We gotta see. It. We gotta see this. We gotta see. It. This is oh, this is nice. I I went to Forever Twenty One. Be quiet. I still jump there. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I think it's cute. I literally just got recently a denim skirt. I got two of them. I got a black one and I got a blue one. I think it's dark blue. Nonetheless, this would be really cute for the black one. Yeah, baby. <laughs> and I can also throw in some nice like highlighter, the eyeliner. And when it gets cold out, like you know, cooler, like in in like in the fall, I can wear that with like my leather jacket and and some boots and some ankle boots. Like, you can't tell me nothing. You can't tell me nothing. Not even on the same day. All right. I got this. This is cute. I feel like very princessy, very peasant princessy. It seems kind of wide. Actually, not that wide. But it's supposed to be medium. So I don't know how, I mean, you know, I'm really not good with math, but I just, I just don't see how this is going to work. But, you know, yeah. Yeah. So cute. Unfortunately, it's final, it's final sale. So I can't, it's like no returns. This is really adorable too. It gives me candy striper slash, um, slash that movie again with Reese Slinger Spoon. What the fuck in the back? Oh my God. It is a little smidgen in the back. Okay, we'll clean that. Um, it reminds me of that movie with Tobey Maguire and Reese Witherspoon. I think it's like Hulu or something like that. I don't remember the, the movie. But it's, it's just so cute. Oh my goodness. It gives. I like this. I'm going to wear it with like some penny loafers or something like that. Or just like a cute, actually. I can wear this with sneakers. Like some. Um, I can wear this with like the low Vans kind of sneakers, Toms. Or I can wear it with uh, some loafers. It's cute. Uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, so you were moving along. Excellent, excellent. So at that time, I was feeling like wearing it with um, one of my high rise jeans, and I finally found some jeans that go to the floor. Like, that's so difficult for a tall woman who's six foot three. That is very difficult. Uh, the place that I got it from is called American Tall. For all my fellow tall people, if you're looking for places that is, that's not just a uh, 
like please message me or like not message me but like put it in the chat about like you know where it is it, or comment below or like where you get your your jeans from if you're like six foot if you're six foot two and above please let me know because at six foot i feel like you know you can kind of get away with wearing um normal size jeans barely barely oh my goodness like you still you still belong on our team babes but i'm just saying like you're on a cusp you're on a cusp i got this right here this is supposed to be a small and honey i am plus size but it's just like i don't need it to billow over me so one can dream i can i can wear this i can wear this i like this and it's on sale these things were on sale like a lot of this stuff hold on so the the dress the stripe dress was went from 35 to 19 dollars and some of you guys like don't like, like a sale or like or like turn your nose down at it, but not me. I'm like, yo, I will tell you, but I said I've always been that kind of person. I'm like, girl, they got a sale going on. <laughs> Hello, all right. Like I would go thrift shopping with people, or like, um, or go to like Columbus Market. Come on, like, how are you gonna? Stop. People get a certain type of salary paycheck and then turn. I can understand where you want more high quality things, but why would you want to like? act really snubby about something where you can just go to like a marketplace or buy something like when you have a certain type of amount of money you look down on thrifting but if you wore something that somebody else wore you would call it vintage would you not like when kim kardashian had wore marilyn monroe's dress it was called vintage yeah it was that was formerly worn Okay, yes, it was worn by an icon, but I'm just saying, like, yo, you some people, or if somebody somebody had like an estate sale, you would have like very great discounted rated um, material, um, like trunks or oak wardrobes, things of that nature. And are you gonna snub down on that? That's like a high class thrifting, basically, practically. So why are you trying to make fun of anybody else? who's shopping within their salary range when they go to a regular like red, white, and blue. So it's like, yo, before you sound stupid, like just understand where you actually come from because I'm, I, I, oh God, I, I cannot. Cause I mean, honestly, it, it can be from like, it can be from clothing. It can be from, you know, buying somebody's car. It was like, oh, this car belongs to was it Flash Stevens or something like that? I don't know, Flash Gordon. I don't care, but it was just like some something. That's kind of also like, you know, buying something secondhand. Like it's okay. It's okay to it's okay to thrift and it's okay to buy um it's okay to thrift. It's really okay to thrift. Okay, so don't let anybody try to shame you because it is okay. It is okay to buy a sale and people haggle. I think it's really about the name itself. If you say thrift store, just be like, you know what, this is vintage. Obviously, they were like, yo, what, from like last year? It's vintage, okay? It's obviously not in store anymore, so it's vintage, okay? With the shits. Um, if they say, oh, this is on sale, they'd be like, you know what, um, I bought this at a, yeah, a, a sale should be a sale, which is okay. Because I mean, if you, if you buy things at an estate sale, or you or you barter for things that like that's that's totally that's totally a universal worldwide acceptable thing. People have been bar bartering since like you know Mesopotamia or like even before then. I'm pretty sure like hey look, you give me this rock and I give you this flint or something like that. I don't know, but like you know or you give me like a, this deer head and I give you this 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 thing here there. Like come on now. Some people just go so outlandish with things. It's it's really doing the most. It's giving it's giving lap it's giving like a dog standing on his hind legs lo looking for a tree. And I'm like, for who? Who who whose approval are you trying to go for? Because you honestly look like an ass, and you're trying to make you're trying to set yourself apart, but you're doing so in a very asshole way, where you want people to kind of like either compete with you or try to put other people down. And I'm like, ew. <laughs> I'm like, ew. I can understand if it was more for like nefarious reasons, but for something like, oh, she 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 shops at the thrift store. 
he buys a secondhand uh, item. People do that all the time. If you go to Jay Leno's um, uh, auto auto car, what is it like he has like he does restorations? I'm telling you, it's just just use the fancier word, the more rich term, in order to express exactly what it is that you are purchasing or selling or having an interest in because people nowadays they just really don't know what they're talking about they just want to complain about everything everything <laughs> it's ridiculous you even you can even buy like a, a big ass companies buy out other companies is that not kind of like thrifting do you not thrift with with companies when you when you are a serial entrepreneur some of you, I mean, if you can afford it, aren't you a serial entrepreneur thrifting for other for other um, jobs and whatnot like that? So it's just like humble yourself. Humble yourself because you sound stupid. Not even an emperor is wearing the new clothes kind of stupid. It's just like you sound, it's very hypocritical and it almost seems like, you know, you don't know what you're talking about. Okay. All right, moving on. I got this dress and honey, honey, it's $10.99 and it was um, previously for... $27.99. I like it. The sales are nice because it's really it's really awesome because like hey, like no art right, for, for me for these moments when it's a big sale, it's like hey, alright, so nobody wore this, but it's reduced price. It's so cute. So look at that. Look at that. It's 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 a it's for a big girl. It's an extra large. And um, I feel like there's like these little cinchy things right here, and worse comes to worse, I can always just like take that in. She's long, she's pretty. I really like this. This would be something I could wear to town in like New York City with either like again my sneakers or some shoes, like some high heel shoes, uh, wedges. I do like wedges. Somebody made an insult about clogs, and I was just like. You know not what you're talking about because clogs are the way. Okay, stop being a hater. Clogs are awesome. Uh, I got a plain white shirt because it is really nice. It will not stay white forever because that's just how it goes. That's just how it goes. Okay, I still going white. And I got this. This is so. Uh, this is so darling. This is very very darling. I call this um, sheet. This was originally $25 and I got it for $10.99. All right. Well, um, I think that's it. I am starving like Marvin. It's 8 o'clock right now and I'm going to go. So really hope that um, if you guys bought anything from the Bed Bath & Beyond, Bath & Body Works, <laughs> then uh, let me know and what kind of recommendations that you would wear or something like that. But yeah, this is something I wanted to put down because I felt like I had to, unfortunately, someone has been like trying to take my whole persona and and not in like a very complimentary way, but in a, it was bad intentions, bad intentions. All right, guys, I will check you out later.